Welcome back. So as default, the solution is actually set up inside this config file to say instead of localhost here, it says 0, 0, 0, 0. And this is actually the solution you guys will probably see right now. So it should say something like this, listening on port 0, 0, 9000. So let's try and use this now to just to see if things are actually running. So um, I'm going to try and copy this URL. I'm going into Postman. I'm going to paste this in and I'm doing send. And now I get could not respond. Now this works on the Mac again. It really does. I'm not making fun here. So if you guys work with a Mac, this shouldn't be an issue. You should actually see something like no get is available or something like that. Um, but actually on Windows, it won't accept 000 as your IP address. So what we'll do is we'll go back into the code. We'll go under the source um, file right here. And then we'll go under the config.js. Now here is actually the default route if nothing else is specified. And here you'll say 127.0.0.1, which is localhost on your machine. So changing this will of course restart automatically because Nodeman is running. They, he set everything up for you, so this is a beautiful REST API. So just get over these small hurdles and next video we'll start using this. So there are those two hurdles. So now it says we're looking instead now at port um, 127.0.0.1 port 9000. Let's try and post this in here instead and do the get and we'll get back cannot get because there's not a get request available. That's fine. If we do a slash users, which is one of the routes available, I know that, I'll show you, it'll actually say unauthorized. Ta-da! So the, it's up and running now. So that was the last hurdle. We have to change 000 9000 into localhost and I think I would do that anyway on a Mac as well because 000 is just a weird address to use. So in my mind, it doesn't matter, but now you know how, where you can change your actual localhost IP address for this project. See you in the next lesson.